morning guys, what's going on? It's me online brother Jasper's deck and welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back. I'm a little overexposed, but eh, you know what you gotta do. Sometimes you just look awesome in the morning. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for the support on the mystery deck. It has been madness. It has been absolute madness. The amount of demand and uh, the, the, the support that we're getting from you guys. So thank you guys very much. In fact, there were so many orders that I had to ask some of the other members of the, the guys from the video. Claudia contributed 7 decks. And so contributed about 10 decks. Kendall contributed 7 decks. Uh, Dan contributed another 7 decks or so. Link contributed 2 decks. Thank them so much. Thank you guys so much for helping me out in this uh, predicament. Even then, because I miscounted one brick of cards, um, I had to put together one last brick of cards. And um, basically, I've run out of sealed, unopened decks. And let it not be said that Jasper's saves on this kind of things. Let it not be said that NDO is a cheap skate because that's not the case. Let me show you guys what the last brick of playing cards contains. Deck number one. The School of Courage review ones. You guys are familiar with this. Arcos. Very nice. Blue sealed Arco playing cards. Cincinnati, Ohio, yo. Oh my gosh. Next up, the currently out of print isometric number twos. Super beautiful cards. Set them aside. Next up, Legends playing cards. Limited edition. Sharp green, the green version of the sharp playing cards. Transformer tallies. These are basically, although there's black seals on them, these are from the Cincinnati, Ohio, and they feel like blue seal tallies. If you want to know what blue seal tallies feel like, this is basically your only other option. Ventus playing cards. Yo, Ventus playing cards. Very popular right now, very hype. Lotus in hand has been having a hot year. And we are continuing to support them on that. Anthony Chanute's hand shield playing cards. These cards, pretty cool. Very stylish playing cards. The It's Teams. Andy Warhol playing cards. I love this deck. I love this deck so much. The fact that I'm actually adding this to the mystery brick drives me insane actually. I, <laughs> it pisses myself off so much. Uh, I really love this deck of cards and I hope whoever gets it does. Kardashian Con 2018 editions, the Hong Kong editions, very popular playing cards, very limited edition, very cool. Palm playing cards, ah, by Dealer's Grip. These cards are expensive right now, and we are adding them to the fifty dollar brick. Fontaine playing cards, the Rip and Dip edition. I haven't searched eBay for them, but I'm pretty sure these are gonna be pretty expensive. And lastly, Andios. Very first deck of playing cards. The country of Southeast Asia playing cards. Oh my gosh! Write your estimations in the comment section below. How much do you think this brick of playing cards is gonna be worth on eBay? Thank you guys very much for the support. On to today's video. Alright, so guys, welcome to the last episode of the vlog. Thank you guys very much for the support that has uh, you guys have been giving this entire time it is really quite quite saddening that I have to end the vlog but you know things change vis visions change uh, the ideal of what the vlog content was gonna be like has changed completely and I'll tell you guys a little bit more about it in a moment but this is what the NDO studio looks like right now so it's like it's it's a complete mess everything is out you might think that I have been I have been um, robbed, all sorts of madness has happened, but that's not the case. Actually what's happening right now is that we are rearranging and we are resetting up the entire studio to prepare for the next phase in the NDO experience. While I am talking and elaborating on the New Deck Order's future and the, new, the future of the New Deck Order as a brand and School of Country and Jasper's Deck. Um, Let's do some unboxing because what you guys may not know is that while I was finding decks to add to the mystery bricks, the, the Jasper's decks, mystery bricks, um, I actually found some cards that I, I am supposed to do reviews for but haven't yet. So let's take a look at these three decks that I'm supposed to do unboxings for but didn't realize I haven't done until now. Starting with the Hanami playing cards. So the Hanami playing cards 
It is a pink and blue centric deck of playing cards. Oh, it's a bit overexposed right there. Let's on the top it says Hanami, but over here it says Sakura. Sakura, of course, being the Sakura flowers that everyone is moderately familiar with. So this is what the back of the boxes look like. Very cool. This little teal bit right here really makes the card stand out. I really like how that looks. This color palette, color gradient thing right here. So cool. There we go. Much better. Oh, the lights have also been placed in the, the camera equipment box area. So I'm actually filming this with my iMac using a white screen like this. Using a white screen on my iMac as lighting. Uh, the lighting looks a little bit weird, but at the same time, it looks kind of cool. Alright, so let's open these cards up. Look at that. Look at that beautiful color gradient in the middle. Maybe on the other hand, it'll look even cooler. Not bad. Let's see what the backs look like. This is what the backs of the cards look like. I gotta cover it because otherwise it's overexposed. Look at- Oh my gosh, that looks hideous. Yep. Very nice. The color combination on these cards are very well thought out. I actually really like how these cards look. If you do a fan on the backs like this, you can see the pink line going across the entire design. Pretty cool. But I wonder if the other side looks even better. Oh wow, look at- look at that. Very nice. It's so much harder to do this deck review when I don't have access to my proper lighting. You can't get the cards to look off. On the sides of the faces, you can find this border breaker design that has become more and more common within cardistry playing cards. This is what the jokers look like. It says Hanami. Yeah, extra stars at the corner make it look extra nice. Cool. Faces of the cards are also 100% customized, but some of them look a little bit different style compared to the rest of them. I'm pretty sure that this stock and finish combination is the same one that was used for Ventus playing cards. Pretty cool. We don't have much time today. My flight actually leaves in about two hours. So I'm trying to finish filming and editing this entire video in the time <laughs> in the time that's left. Next up let's take a look at the Spart playing cards. We go from this awesome pink blue deck of playing cards to this green and yellow deck of playing cards. It looks very fresh. Green and yellow I think is underrepresented in playing card design. I'm very happy to see that Spart playing cards has came out with a deck that looks so good. The thing is that I actually reviewed the, the prototype Spart playing cards and because of that I got confused at one point of time not realizing that I haven't uh, reviewed this deck of playing cards. Check this out, there's embossing on the printed parts of the box. Super cool, very nice, very premium feeling. Same goes for the other side, even the black lines here. Even on the hidden details on the flap, there's embossing added to it to make it ultra nice looking. So Spart has gone with a non-standard cardistry style face design, much like the School of Cardistry uh, brand. But what he has included in here is actually one orange Spart playing card and one almost greyish blue spot playing card super cool i actually really like how these two cards come into play with the rest of the deck the, the design of the faces of the cards seem to be almost exactly the same as when they were still in the prototype phase the stock and finish of this deck is different from the hanami playing cards these ones feel a little bit less forgiving on fans it's a bit drier to the touch i'm very curious as to what stock and finish combination Spart chose to go with for this deck of playing cards. This green that Spart has chosen to go with looks super refreshing in the hands. I'm very happy that he didn't choose to go with the you know the typical red color that many people would like to use for their first deck of playing cards. Super fresh. It looks ultra good in the hands. Shout out to Spart. This deck is super well designed, super nice and uh, yeah. I love it. Oh, I didn't manage to go through this, but the face design features this like isolatable circle in the middle. Super cool. I I really love the way Spart chose to design this deck of playing cards. And lastly, we have a package that came actually a few days ago. This one's from the guys over at TCC, which is Chinese brand. Uh, not not related to the Singaporean TCC. Oh my gosh, he sent over two decks of playing cards. So TCC sent over one of these cards, Paper Kings. It's a deck of playing cards with what looks like a very similar design to the recent MPC deck of playing cards. 
especially this red, this blue, and this slightly grayish color. TCC actually also sent over a luxury edition of the cards. I'm very curious to see what this looks like. The box of the luxury edition playing cards is slightly bigger than the normal deck of playing cards. I'm guessing that the normal deck of playing cards will be found inside here. Um, on the front it says Paper Kings, super cool. And on the side it says Designed by Creative Mints, printed by the United States Playing Card Company. And on the bottom it says TCC Playing Cards. Wow! No extra box. This, this, this deck itself is the box. We take out the cards. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, these cards are thicker than I expected. Is this a new stock and finish? Whoa! Alright, on the cards it says Luxury Edition, designed by Lunzi. Paper Kings, designed by Creative Mint. On the ad card, it shows the Creative Mint logo and the TCC playing cards logo. These are what the Jokers look like. They're slightly different, different color schemes, but relatively similar designs. The bags have been designed to look really interesting in fans. It looks like a reverse fan and a normal fan. Look very similar except for the accents at the borders of the fan. Check out how the cards look in the spring. Wow, the faces of the cards look like. Oh wow, look at that. There's a cool a there's a cool jack. Queen King Alright, so yeah, that is my quick look at the Creative Mint's playing cards. I really love the way this box feels in the hands. Um, it's kind of similar to deck that was designed by Murphy's Magic uh, called Run Playing Cards. So the Paper King playing cards opens up like this, right? The Run Playing Cards actually opens up like this. And it also holds a deck, of, uh, a deck box of playing cards inside. Super duper cool. Alright guys, so let's get into the serious talk mode right now. Let's talk about why I'm ending the vlog. You see, ever since the beginning of the vlog, um, the intention of the vlog channel was supposed to be exactly that, a vlog channel. It's supposed to be about my life and it's supposed to be about things I enjoy doing and, and the happiness I have in my daily life. But as um, time progressed and as I tried to capture a bigger audience, it became less about the vlog life and more about unboxing playing cards, talking about cardistry stuff and, and cardistry related content and at some point I just realized that this makes absolutely no sense. It makes no sense that I'm making one set of cardistry content for the vlog channel and another set of cardistry content for School of Cardistry. Because of that, after coming to this realization and after uh, struggling with what I should do about this whole situation for the longest of time. Uh, I've come to the conclusion that yeah it doesn't it makes absolutely no sense for me to be making two sets of content for these two platforms. So starting from this vlog, today's vlog, I'm cancelling the Kardashri vlog of Jasper's Deck channel and shifting all content related to Kardashri, related to School of Kardashri, related to the New Deck Order, related to Jasper's Deck onto our main channel, School of Cardistry. And this change takes effect immediately. Which means that starting from the very next vlog video, we will be covering Cardistry Con on School of Cardistry. More than that, I'm making some new exclusive content for the School of Cardistry channel. I'm very excited for you guys to see the future of School of Cardistry, the future of the new deck order, the future of Jasper's deck, and heck, Maybe, just maybe, we could make a little revolution in the Kardashri community. Alright guys, until the next video, thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you guys very much for supporting this channel for the longest of times. I will be returning back to doing normal vlog content that I enjoy doing on this channel from now on. And for all your Kardashri needs, please head on over to School of Kardashri by the New Deck Order.
Oh yes! If you're going to be at Kaiju Con and you want to grab some out of stock playing cards by the new deck order, i.e. Scope of Kaiju V2s, the Prime Jasper's Deck Primeval Editions, Jasper's Deck GDCM Editions, and Cozy's, you will be able to get that directly from me at Kaiju Con. I look forward to seeing you guys. Um, I'll put the price list right here. In general, all the out of stock cards are just a little bit more expensive. Think of it as me being fair towards the guys that initially supported the new deck order. So yeah, they got it at a cheaper retail price, but if you guys want to catch up and complete your collection of playing cards, find me at the card tree con. Alright guys, I gotta pack my bags, I gotta edit this video, and I gotta see you guys over on School of Card <clears throat> See you guys soon. Wow.